Okay, now we're going to revisit our star a little bit. I thought I'd throw this in there just for some extra ideas. What I've got here, these are two 160s that I've inflated, one with about an inch and a half, the other with a couple inches uninflated on them. And then I've made my centers like I did for my other star, only as you can see, this one only has four groups. This one actually has six all the way around for two different types of holiday stars. I'm going to start with my four, and this one only has about an inch and a half uninflated on it. What we're going to do is twist into one of our pairs of pinch twists. Now to see how to do this, the center again, you'll have to go back and watch the other star one. But instead of making five pairs of pinch twists, I made four on this one. Then we're going to come out about two and a half inches. Well, let's make a little one about three inches. Make a point. And we're going to do that again. For the first three points, we're going to make them about three inches. And that leaves us quite a bit of extra for the last. So what I want to do with the last is I'm going to fold that in half and then bring that little bit of nickel we have left back up and join it in. And you get the traditional four-pointed Christmas star. Or it could be changed slightly to be a cross or whatever, but there's one variation. And then, obviously not everybody celebrates Christmas. There are those that celebrate Hanukkah and stuff. And they like a six-pointed star, so what I've done with this one is just like with our other star, we've got the pairs of pinch twists and bubbles around, but I've got six here. And we're going to twist into one of those pairs of pinch twists, and because you're going to have six, you're going to make these a little smaller. So about a two-inch bubble. And then we're just going to do pairs of two-inch bubbles going from one pair of pinch twists to the next, just like our other star. And we're going to go all the way around. And again, on this 160, it had a little more uninflated than the one I just used. This one had about two to two and a half inches uninflated. Because obviously you're making more twists as you work your way all the way around to get your six-pointed star, our Star of David. Any excess that you have left over, once you come to that last one, pop it off. Secure that in. You straighten it up. It doesn't sit quite as pretty as a regular six-pointed star, but you can have a six-pointed star. And obviously with this star design, you can do as many points as you want to make twists inside there, seven, eight, whatever. There you go. Two extra stars.